This is Carnival Live TV's showcase of Karma and Ramajay band launches, part two. I'm in the mood, she's in the mood, we in the She said she want the gyrator body. Thank you. 
Well, I got introduced to it through my dad a long time ago because he was into carnival back home. He um, he worked with some of the bigger bands back in St. Lucia okay. um, on their bigger costumes, the king and queen costumes, the, okay, um, okay. the bigger floats that go up for the um, king and queen competitions. So he worked um, with them on, on, on that. And when he moved up here and I started coming to visit, um, he would work, he was working with Hawks at the time, back when Hawks was like yeah, the biggest yeah, thing in Brooklyn, you know, you know, so um, he was working with them at the time and then there was this one year in particular, I think it was back in, <laughs> it was back in 96 or 97 I want to say, when he himself had a section in the band Hawks and I was here on vacation at the time and I helped him with the designing and whatnot and then that's where my interest was really peaked as far as the whole costume designer was concerned and after I moved here myself for school um, I started um, I started designing for a, another small band called Paradise Islands back in 2004 I think it was three for back three 2003 2004 around that time I started designing for them actually um, in 2004 when I designed for them the first year that I designed for them exclusively the entire the entire um, band we actually came in second in, um, in the small bands category yeah on um, on for, for Labor Day of that year so it has definitely been one of the highlights so far so I've been doing it since then what goes into creating a carnival costume? I mean, well, the, the process for me actually starts from way in advance of, of, the, of the, um, the carnival season. I mean, because right now, as is, I've already locked down the theme that, I'm, that I want to do for next year. I've already sorted out the sections, the color schemes, and some of the looks that I, that I, that, that I want to go for. I'm actually even... Um, for the past, well, this is going to be our third year. For the past three years, we've done three sections, but then, you know, because we wanted to, like, grow small and, and, and develop small. We didn't want to rush ahead and, and, and do, like, five, ten sections and have, like, ten persons per section. We, I mean, we, we felt that the beauty of the design itself um, lent itself to the to the number of persons you actually had per section. So we figured that trying to get at least 50 persons in three sections was a much better look for us as opposed to getting 25 persons in six sections. You know, so we've been doing three thus far, and so for next year we're hoping to go up to um, to four, but like I was saying, the process starts from like a whole year prior. Well, what other carnivals have you guys done? Is it only Labor Day? Is it only um, New York? Or you no. Any Last year we, um, we actually had a section in Miami with Natural Freaks Unlimited. Okay. We had a section down there. We did very well. That was a very good venture for us. Um, you know, it, it opened the doors to a whole new market for us, a whole new, um, a whole new group of masqueraders that we may not necessarily have been able to reach on our own through Karma. So it definitely opened that door and it exposed a lot of persons to who Karma was as well. So it was definitely a good look for us. This year we're going back to Miami with um, Natural Freaks. Um, we'll be using one of the sections that we'll be showcasing um, at the launch today. We'll be using one of those sections to go to Miami just as we did last year. And then we're also this year venturing to St. Lucia Carnival. Are you going back home? Yes, we are. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> you can say you can say that. Um, yeah, so we definitely we're doing a section in which of the year we're going to be um, playing mass with um, just for fun. Um, Carnival band on, yeah. So the, <laughs> the name says it all, right? <laughs> yeah. So we'll be going down there with them um, just for fun, and um, we're we'll presenting the section again, and it's a section that we will we'll also be doing in in Labor Day. So persons who actually play in the section in Sanusha have the added bonus of paying a. Purchasing the costume for St. Lucia and then paying a the, the common registration fee and reusing the costume from St. Lucia here in Labor. So it's like two for the price of one type situation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And we we can do that because again, we're confident in the in the quality of our product that is, is going to is going to um um um, um Stand the test of the initial carnival. Even and in the rain. Even in the rain. Okay, okay. Even in the rain and in the heat and some more rain. It will stand the test yeah. of time and and make it back to New York um, um, in, in in mint condition so that persons can use it again on Eastern Pocket for Labor Day. And the same will hold true for um for Miami section. Persons who play mass in that particular section in Palma will then be able to pay a registration fee uh, for natural freaks and use that costume again in Miami. So again, proud, uh, two for the price of one. So definitely the, uh, the way in quality of the carnival costume. Like definitely. The, uh, definitely.
Definitely. Well, we're going to be looking for you guys in St. Lucia because Carmel Live TV is going to St. Lucia. So we'll definitely well, look for you. Well, you, won't, well, you won't be able to miss us. We're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to be the group decked out in gold and orange, so you won't be able to miss us. Thanks, a lot. Thanks, time. thanks again right. for being here. Appreciate it. Yo, this is Red Line. This is Karma Live TV with Karma somewhere over the rainbow. And we'll see you on the road 2011 Labor Day Parkway. Let's go.